Hello everybody, this is the uh, third part of the series where we go back and watch uh, some of the, the films that we've made for the Field Notes limited edition releases. My name is Steve Delhoid, and with me... I'm Brian Bedell. And yeah, and so we're just sort of, this one's a shorter one, it's uh, 51 seconds long. So our commentary should probably be, what, 10 minutes? Yeah, yeah, 15, 20, something like that. <laughs> There's a lot to talk about there, a lot of action in this one. Yeah, this one was a lot of fun. Um, so we've come come to the end here. Uh, let's start back over at the beginning. Um, we shot this one. Well, why don't we talk about the release? You have all the details of the workshop campaign. Yeah, well, this was, what, summer 2015. So um, getting to be quite a while ago. It seems like it wasn't that long ago. This was... The genesis of this one creatively was that French Paper contacted us directly and said, hey, we have this new French craft tone paper coming out and we want, you know, we don't have swatch books yet. We just have here some samples of the paper we're working on. And that was, if you're a designer, you know, that's, there's not new French paper very often and to find out about it before it even came out was really exciting to get to work with them. And we wanted to show off that paper, and I don't really even remember how we came. I think you know, this was just one of the ideas we had bouncing around, but we thought it worked well with six different colors of the new French paper, and then we hadn't done a box set in a while, so it worked out great for that. Was the Aaron last one made, before that, the National Crop, was that the first box set we did? That, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that sounds right. And then this was uh, the last... This is one of the last ones we did upstairs, I think, in the old office, so I think of it that way. <laughs> but it was, um, yeah, it was a real fun set to work on. Aaron made those icons that you see on the covers there, the six different icons, and there was a set of decals of the icons, and there were six different books for what electricity, uh, woodworking, automotive, plumbing, gardening, and painting were the six different books. This, let's maybe go to the, beginning of it um yeah and then we filmed yeah the full thing or just about everything was filmed at my house yeah and we which is rare we've done a one or two a couple there yeah and i think this one just lent itself to being a kind of montage thing yeah. and we thought it would be funny to use the books not in their instructive way or taking notes but instead using them as literally right functional objects of what they're what the the different books were about and so like the first yeah. and i remember at the same time we were shooting the product photos and we kind of shot two whole different sets of product photos alongside these and one of them barely got used so we can maybe link those up somewhere because we kind of did a serious set of product shots and then a sillier set and the sillier set got i think we used it on instagram a little bit but we never really used it to promote the product much this is a that's a vespa primavera 130 dr kit putting a gasket on there yeah and did you say, would it actually be functional? I, um, I'm not going to lie. I have used field notes covers for makeshift gaf gaskets before, and it would work. It's not the optimal like gasket paper, but the thickness is about right. It probably wears out a little faster than you would want. I'm not, I'm, I'm not the greatest mechanic, but, um, that's still pretty good. You can, yeah. Huh. Um, so we went in, this is in your garage, uh, painting. Yep. There's my, my Ikea um, sawhorse, which isn't the coolest sawhorse to have, but they work. That was very... That's the paint from my uh, upstairs hallway. <laughs> I remember that being tricky, the uh, the focus shift there. And so we only used yeah. the end. I think originally it was supposed to be a single shot. Yeah. I had to break it up a little bit. but That's my dining room. <laughs> that I think we also a lot of these it's like when when you're shooting it you sort of expected it to all be in one shot and then you get in there and you'd edit it yeah. and go like oh this needs to be this is boring and so jazzing it up a little bit with yeah moving it around and it's it makes uh putting a thing underneath a chair more dynamic uh, now that I think about it, I do still have these sitting around my house all like in my garage there's a big stack of oh, prototype ones with blank I, I keep opening them up and they have like blank when we make a pro 
sometimes early on when we're shooting the film, we don't have the final books yet. So like we'll have the printer make some with just the covers with playing paper inside or I'll make them myself. So I think that's what all of these were. Yeah. That's a little uh, Easter egg there. A trick of the, the films is like a lot of times yeah. we have to do these like right as the printers and there's this short window in which to. Yeah. Or sometimes long before the printer even has them, if we really have to plan ahead, in which case we have to kind of make a prototype from scratch, which is very, so, you know, depending on the design of it is sometimes literally impossible to do and sometimes very difficult. Oh, for sure. That round corner we got for the office was the best $120 I ever spent. I used to have to do that with an X-Acto knife. Yeah, this is out of my deck. <laughs> I think I just bought a either a new Dana dolly or a, some sort of slider thing because there's, yeah. there's a lot. Of, I mean, the footage should always have motion, but this one has like a lot of this. I think I still have those Pumas I'm wearing. Now, this is funny because if you saw me re removing, there's a broken switch plate on this, and we moved into our house what, probably 15 years before we made this video and that broken switch, place, pl that broken switch plate was driving me nuts for more than a decade. So I replaced it, <laughs> we replaced it with this book and then I ended up leaving the book there for like another four or five years. That was, was it really? So, wow. Yeah, I just replaced that like maybe a year ago with an actual switch plate, which is not, it's not safe to have a paper switch plate if something shorted out. In there. Yeah. Um. And then this, yeah, do you remember where this was? Yeah, this was in your backyard. Right, I was trying to remember that, and it took me a while, because, yeah, the black background's confusing, but we just had a black sheet hanging behind it, and it was outdoors. We, we needed to be able to see the water, and it had to be backlit, but if you, right. if you had a bright background, it also wouldn't make any sense of, like, why a pipe was sort of... Right, so that was a garden hose. I just had some spare pipe I had around, and we ran a garden hose into it and uh, drilled a hole in it. <laughs> It worked really was, well. Uh, yeah, it worked great. The, I remember the still pictures for that one were really good too because we got some nice water splashing around in the stills. I remember there was something maybe with this book too that we only had like one or two of them. Yeah, I think this was the one, right? We Yeah, we didn't have as many as the other ones. Yeah, and we so, had to trash them faster. Yeah, we had to do... I think this was the first and maybe only take we were allowed to get. And it clearly sort of worked, but it's dripping on the sides. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but there's just a black thing, like duvetine, or maybe even just a black. Yeah, I think it was just a black. Uh, behind it. It was, uh, yeah, like one of your big stretch panels, I think. Yeah. Um, and then this, everything, I, I shoot stuff on red cameras, and everything was shot on red except the last shot. For some reason, I didn't have the camera. And this was shot in the office, yeah. in the hallway uh, near the old Yeah, we office. used this hallway a lot because there was nice diffused... Um, like the, there was opaque glass in those windows, so we would shoot out there a lot, I remember. Um, and that's just a tabletop with a, like sawhorses or boxes yeah. probably underneath it. Yeah, that was like outside the warehouse, so I'm sure we just stacked up a bunch of boxes and put the table on it. And then we had a string rigged to make that book fall. And that was... And a, you could see a little bit of the string, <laughs> which is good. Can you? Yeah, a letters. tiny, tiny bit. If you oh. if you watch it really closely, you can see the, the reflection of the string. Oh, yeah. See it, like, <laughs> pop up after the book yeah, falls. Yeah. <laughs> but that's part of the joy. Just get, we got our money's worth out of our duct tape on the shoot. Yeah, and then it didn't really. That was, I think that work, that toolbox was one Michelle bought for a prop for trade shows. Yeah, that was, the, we, it's probably still in the office somewhere. Yeah, it is. Because we have that other red toolbox. We have well, now we have our actual workshop down in the new office. That yeah, we end up building more things than you would think for a notebook company. In the old <laughs> space, there was that red one. I guess it's not that one, but anytime you needed to yeah, try we to fix something one. or needed like a screwdriver, you'd go in there and there would be no tools that were of any yeah. value to yeah, there was any some practical. Like <laughs> I never knew why that was in there. Um, the only other thing I wanted to say about this is like I really like the I've forgotten about like the bossa nova music um, yeah. in it, which is like it played really well to it. But when you're searching for music for these sorts of things, like it, it's a difficult. That's maybe the thing we talk about the most. <laughs> it's like back and forth with 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 any project, really. Yeah, we always get. It's funny we always get emails. A couple of emails from people asking what the music is, and it's we have to explain to them that it's nothing you can download from iTunes or yeah, it's Spotify. it's a stock. <laughs> well, no, it's a stock house that I I use all the time, but yeah. it's um, 
it's that's like I saw a pie chart one time of like a video project and it's like 90% searching for music and 10% yeah. editing and creative work and that really is the case with yeah we've used I guess we've used real not real but you know like c- commercial music non-stop. a few times yeah. but if we do yeah. that we would you know we would credit the artist or whatever in the in the video usually yeah yeah so this was a short one, but it's still fun. I like these these yeah. montage ones are always some of my favorites. Is there? Yeah, this was such a great set of books too. I just really liked working on these. Well, anything else to yeah, discuss? Pretty straightforward one. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you enjoyed these fifteen minutes or whatever it was talking about fifty-one seconds of material. So. <laughs> thanks, everybody.